table as we listen to your word. Help us know, God, your presence. Let our hearts and minds be stirred. Nourish us with sacred story till we claim it as our own. Teach us through this holy In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. On this day, the Lord's day in which we celebrate Christ's resurrection, let's ask the Lord that we may enter into this new life with joy. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. And Lord, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in, in the highest, highest and, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you. We bless you. We, bless you, you, we adore you. Adore you we, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great, great glory. glory. Lord God, God, heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb, Lamb of God, Son, Son of the Father, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. You take, you take away, away the sins of the world, of the world. Receive, receive our prayer. prayer. You, you are seated at the right, right hand of the Father, Father. have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You, are you alone are the Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, with the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. A man came bringing food from the first fruits to Elisha, the man of God. Twenty loaves of barley and fresh airs of grain in his sack. Elisha said, give it to the people and let them eat. But his servant said, how can I set this before a hundred people? So Elisha repeated, give it to the people and let them eat. For thus says the Lord, they shall eat and have some left. The servant set it before them. They ate and had some left, according to the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yes, darling. 
established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, the prisoner of the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. For in all humility and gentleness and patience, be bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the Holy Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit. Just as you were called, with the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, Father of all, who above all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, Lord. Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, fe the festival of the Jews was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to Jesus, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves, left by those who had eaten, they filled twelve baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Let's start with a story. There was once a beautiful place, a place of forests and trees, of untamed wilderness and clean water. And then people arrived on the scene. These people, each of them, wanted to do good in their own way. An entrepreneur wanted to develop the place, to build on it, so people could come and enjoy it. Another wanted to cut down the forests, harvest the wood, and make beautiful furniture. Others believed that the right thing to do was to preserve the place, keeping it as pristine and untouched as possible. And many were indifferent. They wanted something good to happen that would benefit them. Real stories like this are full of conflict and complicated to deal with. What is good? We all want to be good. We all think of ourselves and want to be thought of by others as good. What does that really mean? Is being thought of as good actually more important to me than being good? When something good happens to us, do we say it is good only because it is good for us? These questions get tested in the readings today. 
For most people at the miracle of the loaves in John's gospel, being fed bread was enough. They thought it was great. If they got the bread so freely, then what else could Jesus give them? Maybe Jesus was a great prophet with spiritual powers who could lead them like Moses from the desert of Roman rule to the freedom of the promised land. Unfortunately, that is not what Jesus wanted at all. For him, that was not good. His message and his identity are not so easily understood. St. Paul exhorts the Ephesians to live peacefully with one another. In our age, this is one of our biggest mantras. We want to get along. I want to be seen as tolerant. But in a way, tolerance on its own really has no content. It doesn't feed us. Paul's exhortation has a deeper meaning. We should bear with each other so we might live in the Spirit together and make real that there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father who is above all and through all and in all. The morality governing our behavior should lead us toward this purpose. As the early Christians at Ephesus begin to plumb the depths of their faith, Remaining united with one another in Christ is a real challenge. It's easier to mouth platitudes rather than come to grips with real life that is always complex and often difficult. Sometimes we demand of our religion that it be simple and solve the problems of our life. In the person of Jesus Christ, such a response, of course, exists. Often we are content with lesser goods, goods that serve our own purposes. We want to structure our world so that others are responsible for our problems, and we want them to solve them too. We can wrap ourselves even in the mantle of virtue while really serving our own purposes. Isn't this what is going on in my little story of the pristine wilderness? All parties claim that they represent what is good, some even say that they are selfless. Let us not deceive ourselves. Life is more complicated than that. Left to our own devices, self-interest plays a big part in human affairs. The truth is more complicated than sugarcoating our soul. The united testimony of the saints is that becoming selfless and learning to do what is truly good is hard. As we peel back the layers of ourselves, exposing them to the light of Christ, what seemed like something we wanted to hide becomes, through the gaze of Christ, something beautiful and good. We need not be ashamed. The true goodness we receive and share remains for us, at least here and now, part of the mystery of God. In prayer, by informing our conscience, and in making an honest assessment of our limitations, we can sense a greater freedom of consciously choosing to respond to the gift of Christ himself. The work of God is possible. Doing this will mean pouring out our lives as Jesus has already done. Can we accept that sharing in the Lord as real food at the Eucharist means that we are going to have to give of ourselves in the same way? Can we accept the fact that things that bother us the most will not be resolved while the work of Christ, which is worth infinitely more, moves forward? My life is not all about me. We need the nourishment of the Eucharist, the fellowship and encouragement of other disciples, as well as the challenge of having motives and our entire lives purified. O oh Lord, help us to tread steadily along the path of holy, uh, holiness making us day by day into one faith, in one, one baptism, having one God and Father. Help us to seek that good that is above all other goods. In Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth, and, earth, and in, in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, our Lord. Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. 
On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Filled with the Spirit, let us present our prayers to God our Father. That all people come to know the risen Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have hurt us, may we always be forgiving. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all women and men, that they may come to know the presence and the goodness of the one Lord in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and the infirm, separated from their parish communities, who join us today, that this Mass celebrated for them will bring comfort and joy. We pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us take a few minutes and offer our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, we pray that Jesus may become the center of our lives now and forever. We make this prayer in his name who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's go now to the table of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Lord, be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good, good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own marvelous light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Lord. heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become 
the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat this bread and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by his divine and loving teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For well, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Offer to each other now a sign of Christ's peace. Peace of Christ. And in our hearts, let us wish to, to all of our friends and family that peace. 
Lamb of God. You take away the sins, sins of the world, world. have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your, and with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go this week to be sacraments of Christ's love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Good morning and thank you for celebrating with us on this Sunday morning. Special word of thanks to Father Robert O'Brien. Father Bob is the pastor of St. Gregory of the Great Parish in Oshawa, Ontario. This week, pray to the Holy Father that he will send the Holy Spirit upon us, that we can see the face of Jesus in all who touch our lives this week. Whether you're in a prison cell, a nursing home, wherever you might be, look for the face of Jesus and look around you at the beauty of God's creation. This is the time of the year that we slow down a little bit to enjoy everything that surrounds us. Until next week at this time, rest assured of our prayers and please keep us in yours. Until next Sunday morning, God bless. Show.